Hello friends. Today we discuss virtual function, pure virtual function and abstract class in C++. Objective of this video is to focus on virtual function. One is to remember example program and UML diagram. Similarly, pure virtual function abstract class its program implementation UML diagram. Friends, if you like this video, kindly subscribe, share and comment. First of all, we have to discuss virtual function. It is used to achieve runtime polymorphism in C++ and C sharp, also known as dynamic or late binding. Virtual is required only when parent class pointer is pointing to object of child class to call overridden function, means functions which are in both the parent and child class. Without virtual, C++ compiler performs compile time linking. So it always call function of parent class, not the child class. We have to remember some points like virtual should be applied only to the parent class function. It is only applicable to the parent class. Which is the In this program, I have designed a class A having a function show and showing the message A show. I am writing a virtual before it so that I can achieve runtime polymorphism. I have created class B which is inheriting class A. Again, I have defined a function show and change the message to B show. This is known as overriding or function redefinition. Here I have defined show function but change the parameter. This is known as overloading. In main program, I am creating object of class A as well as of class B and calling show function. Since I am directly using object, it uses CTP, compile time polymorphism. Now I have introduced a pointer P of class A asking it to point to object 1. Here there is no problem since pointer is of class A as well as object 1 is also of class A. So it will call the correct function. This symbol is known as indirection operation. We can also write this line in this manner. Now this is a very interesting line. Here pointer is of class A but pointing to object of class B and we are calling show function. Now, since we have used virtual keyword, the correct version of function will get called. But if we remove the virtual, incorrect function will get called. So now, compile the code and execute it. First two lines are of CTP and then next two lines are through pointer indirection. Now, I am removing virtual from this function. Again compiling it and executing it. We have to see the last line. It is now showing A show instead of B show. Now we have to see the UML diagram. In class A we have defined a function show with virtual keyword. In class B we have defined two show function. One is overridden and one is overloaded function. Object 1 of class A calling show function. So this is CTP. Object 2 of B calling show is CTP. Now, pointer is pointing to object 1 and calling show. It is RTP. Pointer of class A pointing to object of B class and calling show function. This is again RTP. Now, we have to see definition of pure virtual function. Only declaration of pure virtual function comes inside the class. And then it is must for the child class to provide definition. Syntax is virtual written type function name data type parameter equal to zero now the important thing is equal to zero it represents that we are not giving definition we are only giving declaration points to remember a class which contains one or more pure, pure virtual function is known as abstract class we, know, we cannot create instance or object of abstract class but pointers are allowed 
if child class do not provide definition of pure virtuous function, it will also become abstract class. Now, I am implementing this logic using code blocks. I have created a class fruit with a pure virtual function equal to zero. So this is a pure virtual function. Now I am creating class mango which generates fruit and we are providing definition of test and writing mango is sweet. In main program I am creating pointer of fruit class. Since it is abstract we cannot instantiate it. So if we remove this comment, it will give us error. Created object of mango and asking for the test. So it is CTP. But now we are asking pointer P to point to object M and we are calling P test. Now, since we have applied virtual, correct version will get called. So see the result. This is CTP and this is RTP. Now, we have to see the UML diagram. We have created class fruit having virtual void test equal to zero. Inside mango, we have defined test. We are asking M for test. So this is CTP. But now I am asking pointer to call test function. So this is RTP. Thanks, friend. In next video, I will cover virtual destructor, virtual base class, and friend function.